Let's check audio. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes, yes. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're going to have another class here on Zoom. So welcome. It's nice to have you all. Thank you so much for being here on time. We're going to have class number six today. Jenny. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Uh, you're muted. You're muted, uh, Jenny. Hello. I'm great, teacher. Oh, Thanks. Sounds great. How's the weather over there? Mm, it's some hot. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear about it. Marlene, you're back. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Oh, some great. It's nice to have you all. Thank you so yeah. much for being here. We will continue learning a little bit of this thing that is called learning English. Okay. We're working with section number three. Could you do me a favor? We're going to work with indirect requests introduced by that. So that is the one we are going to work today. Yes. Yeah. Question for you. What is the meaning of request? What is that, Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara? What is the meaning of a request? What is that? Mm -hmm. Carla Selena Hernandez. What is a request? Mm -hmm. What is that? Here we have a request. Yep. What is this thing? Any idea? Mm -hmm. Jose Lino, thank you. Good evening. How, how are you? Hi, teacher. Bye. Sounds good. Thank you. Tell me, what do you understand about requests? What is this thing about? Well, or basically, what is the meaning of requests? What is that? When... I don't remember. Okay, thank you, no problem. Okay, what about you, Jenny? What comes to your mind when you hear the word request? What is maybe, this? Maybe, puedes hacerme un favor? A favor, maybe, right? Maybe a favor, yes. Um, yeah, a request is when you ask for something, right? Pretty much that's that, yeah. And so you use um polite expressions most of the time yes <laughs> most of the time <laughs> okay i'm sorry for that unless you're really mad yeah <laughs> like if your father gets mad <laughs> he requests something like yelling at you right <laughs> but that's something else right that's something else okay um thank you so much for being here and this is class number six as you may see yeah we're working with section number three. And let's see, what is this thing about? We're gonna have this information over here. Uh, let me see who else is here. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Hello, Michelle. Good evening. Welcome, Michelle. Hello, hello, Michelle. Michelle, hello. No, okay. Maria Santos Lopez. Hello, oh, Michelle, thank you. It's nice to have you. Uh, listen, read the information that is here, please. Thank you. Okay. With this advice to babysitters in North America, as parents to show you the location of emerging exit small detectors and fire in fire is time gears. Make sure you have the telephone number of where the parents are going. If the children are up now their location all, all the times and never leave them alone for too long. If the children are asleep, check on the on them about every 15 minutes. Always get approval if you would like to have a visitor. In an emergency call, 
911. <laughs> Identify yourself by name, say you are babysitting, and state the problem. Say where you are and give the phone number you are calling from. Thank you so much. Extinguishers. Extinguishers. Very good. Hello, Wendy. Cecilia Molina. Hello, Wendy. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Wendy. Hi, hi. Can you participate? Not really. Okay. What about you, Karen Yvette? Hello, hello, Karen Yvette. Hi, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Sounds great. Do me a favor. Um, what is a babysitter? What is the meaning of babysitter? What is that about? It's a, it's a um, niñera in Spanish. Exactly right. Okay, very good. It is a person who takes care of, of babies, right? Thank you, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Nice to have you. Okay. Yes, that is true, right? Yeah. Mm. Is is baby is baby sitting popular here in, in El Salvador, Marlene? Um, uh, maybe yes, but in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, no. <laughs> Not really. Why? No. Like, why is that? Because I think that all moms don't work like me because oh. I am taking care for my sons, for my children. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me know that. Uh, what about uh, where you live, Jenny? Uh, is babysitting popular like where you live, Jenny? In the school, yes. <laughs> okay. But in in my neighborhood, no. Eh, eh, because my ¿cómo se dice vecino? Neighbor. My neighbor don't work. Oh, okay. Oh, in my this... in my in my neighborhood, only I work all the day. Oh, okay. So so your neighbor doesn't work, right? No. Oh, and the only in the house, is... only in the house. <laughs> oh. And the best teacher is that Jenny Carolina is a baby city. Yes. Yeah, that's why yes. I was like, I, I was wondering with about you. It. Yeah. <laughs> what is what is something that you enjoy about Hola, about it? Hola. Something that you uh hi, good evening, nice Hola. to meet you. Hi, hi. Oh, that's very cute. Look at that cute little girl. Hi. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, yes, that's your mom right next to you. Yeah, she loves you. <laughs> She's very cute. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that, Marlene. Uh, Jenny, tell me, uh, what is something that you love about your job and something that maybe like you don't like it? Yeah, just one. Okay, uh, just one. I love when the the kids come with me and say hi miss jenny i love you and hug me and give me presents in the morning some some kids uh, give me flowers oh that's very cute that's i mean yeah what is one thing that children at this age they are very honest whenever mm. they send something to you they are very honest, yeah, uh, and that's that's something. I work with kids around three years old and seven years old. Yeah, they are very Jenny. honest. Sorry, teacher, I want uh -huh. to to say something to Jenny. Oh, go Jenny, ahead. Do you want go to ahead. take care of my daughter right ah, now? Ah, yes. <laughs> 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 that's a good thing. Thank you. Uh, and what is something that you don't like, Jenny, about your job? Like I don't like when when the parents get, uh, come to school and the parents uh, 
say my kid is very quieto. Okay, thank you. Quieto, how do you say that one in English? Um, like... Uh... Oh, tranquilo, cuando le, re, le ponen queja y dicen, oh no, my son is... Don't, don't do this, these uh -huh. things. Oh, so they don't believe you when you let them know no, the way no, no, um, the way oh, they behave. Oh, when, oh, when the parents, eh, le gritan a los niños. Oh, yell, 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 or, yell at the, at the at child, at the child. Oh, when yeah, they, that's... when I don't like this. Yeah, that's true, right. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Um... Yeah, nowadays, like, that's just, just be careful with that. Thank you so much, Jenny, for sharing that. That's very nice. Uh, Carla, Selena, question for you. Uh, this one is very good. It says, write some suggestions or rules for babysitters to add to the list above. So this is the list, right, that we have from, like, uh, advice to a babysitter in North America. But, but, what, but what about here in El Salvador? What are other uh, suggestions that we can give uh, when it comes to work as a babysitter that we can ask? Like, this is about the US, right? The way they work over there should be or could be quite different, like the way babysitter works here in El Salvador. Yes, what are those suggestions? Selena, oh, what give me one suggestion that, that you can say um, that is not here in the reading? I don't have an idea, teacher. <laughs> but um, maybe, um, no, I don't have an idea. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, teacher. Thank you, Nathalie. Yeah, uh, one thing uh, I have a request <laughs> because uh, right now I'm still on my job, but this topic is so interesting. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, but one question could be if if the kids take some pills could be. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's 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 a good thing. Uh, we need to be careful with medicine. It's not it's not an easy thing to do, right? Thank you yeah, so much. that is so that is so important. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of uh this information here. I need you to take a look of this one, match each request with a response, and then we are going to practice. Okay, so this is like one request, as you may see here, and this is one response. So we're going to work here. I need you to read the information and figure it out what is their response based on their request. And then we can practice a little bit. Teacher number two, letter yeah, letter A. Give me a minute, please. Okay. Number two is gonna be letter A. Thank you. What about number three? What are we having number three? Mm-hmm. What what is the thing that goes with number three? Letter F. Letter F, that is correct. Thank you. What about number four? Could you ask her to bring something? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, letter B. Letter B, bravo. That is correct. Wonderful. 
Thank you. And then we're going to have number five. What is in number five? Letter C. Letter C. Yeah, that's wonderful. What is the missing letter? Mm, I think it's a vowel, right? Letter, letter e. e. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. So we are going to work with this one. Okay. So I will select Sara. Is Sara here? Sara, are you here? Yes. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. And Neftali. So, Sara, you are going to say the request and Neftali, you are going to answer the request. Yes? Okay. Neftali, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Please go ahead. Okay. Is it all right if I use your phone? Neftali? Neftali? Hello, hello, Neftali. Oh, can you, Neftali? Okay, I think, I think I, it... okay, let me check. Um, Jenny, can you help us, please? You and Sarah, okay? So you are going to answer uh, Sarah's request, yes? Okay. Wonderful, please. Is it all right if I use your phone? No, sorry. I'm expecting a call. Do you mind my using your car? No, go ahead. The keys are on the table. Is it okay if I drop her off? Sure. Or I can pick up Pick her up. Do you ask her to bring something? Okay, I'll tell her. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure. What can I do? Would you mind if I if she stayed with you? Not at all. I'll be happy to have her. Thank you so much. Great job. Fantastic. We're going to have a video that is related to this one. Just let me stop it so we can um, get... The... Teacher, sorry, was I moved on my area. So oh, I, yes. my, my microphone was off. I'm sorry. I understand. No problem. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. So I want you to listen and watch this video, please. Um, and then we're going to discuss a little bit about it. Okay. Let's listen and watch. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town, too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Okay, bye. What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey! You've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. Homework 
coming. Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! down a little bit? What? Could you please turn down the volume? Oh. Thank you. I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. I love this part. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. So uh, that, that was uh, uh, somehow uh, like a, a strange video, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoy it, okay? Because it's, it's a little bit of everything, yes? There is one thing that I was, like, kind of curious about is that caught my attention, uh, and I will let you know later. Olga Marleni Gomez, hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. It's nice Hi. to see you one more time. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Listen, uh, <laughs> tell me, please, what is this video about? I can see the video teacher. Oh, I you, you couldn't you couldn't I, see it? I can't see the video. Oh oh I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. What about you, Roberto Eduardo? Um what is this video about? Hey, how you doing teacher? How My are pleasure. You? Good. Thank you. Yeah, um that video uh they talking about the uh, little girls, you know, try to make a homework and but she uh, like to watch the movie Twilight and she uh she any anytime she try to 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 give it uh she tried to to how do you say uh interrompe uh she tried to, to got to, interrupted 
Uh, yeah, with a uh, with uh, another girl. The another girl, uh, she tried to care, you know, like a babysitter maybe. Mm -hmm. And but uh, she got she give it a better idea, you know, and she give it yeah. to her a uh, a book, you know, and they they reading the book together. Um, exactly. exactly. And it's is interesting and but she, she the little girl is bothered anytime you know she's bothering exactly uh, yeah. the other one okay very good thank you yes. there is one thing that i was worried about which is like at the end selena you see like there was a other woman that was like knocking at the door and the door was unlocked yeah i was like how come I know that this is like a video, right? They are like acting the, the, the scene, but <laughs> in a real like scenario, how come how come they like leave the door unlocked? Like that's that's unbelievable. Um, what do you think about it, Selena? Like if, if that thing happens here in El Salvador, um, tell me your thoughts about it, please. Um, it's for me. It's, uh dangerous for example but situation in El Salvador is very heavy deal because it's the delinquents and I, I don't know the robar get robbed get okay, robbed get robbed the people grab drop is that is true right and here yes. in El Salvador we use uh, trancas as well right so we can be safe at home yeah so no matter what Yes, you have yes. locks, you have like games, you have as you have a tranca, right? As well. Thank you so much. We're gonna have a little bit of, of practice with this, like from the video. Uh which statements are true and which are probably false. False. Let's check. Um we have true and false. And is in a hurry. That is true or false? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, Anne is in a hurry. True or false? It's true. That is that is true, right? Very good. Thank you. What about number two? Anne and Megan live together. False. That's false. false. Exactly. Right. That's false. What about number three? Rachel thinks it will be easy to get along with Megan. Me too. Excuse me. True. true. That is true. true. Exactly. That is true, right? Yeah. Things like, but then that's not the case. What about number four? Rachel is worried that Megan might interfere with her work. Um, true. It's that true. Is, thank you. That's right. That is true. What about Megan doesn't want to do her homework? It's true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Exactly. Very good. Megan doesn't care what food she eats. <laughs> true. Oh, that is false. That is false. Very good. And Anne is surprised that Megan uh, and Rachel became friends. It's true. true. That is true, right? That is true. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very good. So let's carry on with the next activity. Let me see what time is it. Okay. We have two minutes left. I will take the attendance. I'm sorry. Just give me some minutes so I can have it ready. Uh, don't forget that for this week, uh, you need to present um, the activities that we have in the platform. And if you have any problems or any inconvenience, you can uh, let me know uh, on the chat here on um on WhatsApp, okay, or you can text me in a private message and I will um, help you with that. Also, there is a person that is in charge of that one as well um, that you can communicate or, or let him know in the chat. So maybe he can help you with that or if he doesn't, I will uh, help you with that as well, okay? Sure, I have uh, a quick question regarding that. Yes. 
uh, what do you mean to present the activity? That means that we need to explain to others or someone else in no, here no. in the class or no, I'm I'm talking about the exercise online that we have in the platform. Ah, like cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good question. Yeah, just to be clear. Yeah, I'm talking about just doing the exercise there in the platform. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you. My teacher. pleasure. So Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Present. Thank you and good evening. Nice to have you. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. No, he isn't. Thank you. What about Janet Carolina Rivera? Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. It's Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar. I'm here. Sorry <laughs> about it. Okay. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Present teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Karen Elizabeth Bernard de Avelar. Uh, thank you so much. I got a message that you are still in recovery, right? Karen, Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Uh, Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Hello? No? Okie dokie. Let's carry on with Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. Present, teacher. Thank you and good evening. Nice to have you. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Very good. Na Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. I'm here. Thank you so much, Neftali. Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. Present teacher. Thank you and good evening. Oscar Alexander. You told me right, Oscar. Please write in the chat here on soon, Oscar, so I can have a record of you. Okay. Uh, Oscar, please write in the chat on soon. Thank you. Uh, Roberto. Hello, Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Sara. Hello, Sara. Present. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Uh, Wendy Present. Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Olga Marleni Gomez Rios, you're here, right? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Just let me check the chat really quick. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Okay. Uh, let me double check that one really quick. Michelle. Okay, she's here. Uh, okay, let me check the other one. Uh, Neftali. Um, Wendy, okay. Let me check that one. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Let's let's carry on with this one. Okay, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of this one. Okay, just remember from the video, right? Just remember from the video. Um, who said the sentences below? Check the correct answers, right? So we have Anne, Rachel, and Megan. Number one, I need a big favor. Who said that? And, and. Oh, yes, very good. That is correct. Thank you. What about, I don't know. Hey, you got the Twilight movies. Megan. Megan, exactly right. Very good. What about number three? How's the homework coming? How's the homework coming? Rachel. Rachel. Rachel, exactly. Very good, right? Rachel is saying that. Wonderful. What about I'm starving? Megan. Megan. Megan, right? You see, when you are like very hungry, you can say I'm starving. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> what about you never read uh, any of the books or seen the movies? Rachel. Rachel. 
Rachel, very good. And the other one, the last one is, you two really seemed to hit, to hit it off. Uh -huh. And, and very good, right? Teacher, That's right. Yep. I don't understand very well this sentence. Oh, which one? Number one, two. Number six. Oh, okay. Very good. You, what is the meaning of seem? Seem. What is that thing about? Seem is like when you like, you have a feeling about something. Yes. So you look at the things, right? And you say, oh, um, yes, it seemed to me like, yes. And hit it off means something negative. Yes. It means something negative is the opposite of like when you like getting along with somebody. Yes. You know what is the meaning of getting along with somebody? Yes. When you like, like, I don't know fit really good with somebody yeah so uh, teacher I, just in addition i believe that seemed in this situation it's like he was looking some characteristic similar in both wonderful um, the verb seem looks like are totally equal in spanish means parecer exactly you nailed it's it. the past mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you nailed it giovanni that is right yeah so based on the things right on the scenario right on the gestures yeah that's why we have see him right thank you um, and then hit it off is the opposite of getting along with with somebody right yes so that means that maybe uh it's not a good idea like they two together like stay in in a room right because maybe that's that's not not good yeah uh thank you so much very good Okay, and also we have this thing that is called request in English. Oh, let's take a look of the following thing. Okay, let's listen and watch. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We will focus on turning statements into indirect requests. Now let's discuss what indirect requests are. So indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say for example you call a person and the person is not there um, and you leave a message for that person. Well this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So if we have statements, imperatives, yes and no questions, and WH questions, those will be different whenever we change them to indirect requests. Uh, now I'll be discussing this individually. Uh, and then um, we're going to try to make sense of all of them together. The idea is to be able to make, uh, to, to take any kind of um, sentence and then change that to a form of indirect request. So in this particular lesson, we're going to focus with the first one, with statements. So as we can see, um, statements are quite easy to change, right? We have a statement there, Jeff, Tony's having a party. So that statement, we change it to an end, indirect request. You call um, maybe uh, maybe Jeff, uh, Jeff's uh, assistant, uh, and uh, you want to give a message to him because he was not available. And then you, you, um, you tell um, the assistant, uh, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? All right, so it's quite easy, right? We just kind of like introduce, could you tell? And here we're going to introduce uh, the person who uh, that message is for. So remember that what you're doing is you're leaving a message with Jeff's assistant. Uh, and then Jeff's assistant will, doing, will then give that message to him. So it's quite simple, right? So what we want to do is uh, we want to um, uh, leave um, quite a few messages for Jeff. Uh, and then we want to practice changing those statements into indirect requests. In this case, we're going to practice uh, changing those uh, statements to indirect requests introduced by uh, that. So the first one that we can see there is, okay, Jeff, uh, Tony is having a party. That's the message. 
so how would I give the message to the receptionist or to his assistant? Um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? By the way, the reason you see that in parentheses is because that is optional. That means that you can either say, could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Or you could just include it. You could say, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So let's write a couple of other um, uh, statements, if you will. All right, And these are messages that I want to give uh, to uh, Jeff's uh, receptionist, right? Uh, let me, I'll change the size a little bit so that you can see that pretty clear. So how do we change this next statement? Jeff, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. All right, so once again, we want to deliver the message. We want to leave the message with the receptionist. So um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work. So basically the only thing that we did um, is if you see this is the message, right? And what we did is we just pretty much sort of like have the same thing. We only added, and I'm going to highlight that in red, we only added, could you tell Jeff that, right? Because the message is for Jeff once again, right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work? Now highlight that in yellow so you can see. So this was the only thing that we added. And we're going to do the same thing for other kind of statements. Uh, and so let's play around with other kinds of statements real quick. Um, let's see, something related to a party, right? And we want to give the message to Jeff. All right. Um, OK, um, so let me change the size a little bit. So Jeff, Tony is going to have a lot of food and drinks at the party. So how can we change this to an indirect request or an indirect message? Well, first of all, I mentioned that um, at this point, because everything is directed towards uh, Jeff, uh, we want to say, could you tell Jeff that? And we're simply going to copy this, as you can see. right? And by the way, uh, something that I forgot to do was I just forgot to add this question mark here, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, so it's quite simple as you can see, right? Uh, let's do one more. Um, what's the message? Well, I want to also give another message to Jeff and this message is gonna be alright um, Tony is gonna have a DJ who is gonna play all kinds of music right so once again what is it that we want to do well uh, quite simple we're gonna just borrow this could you tell Jeff that alright and we're simply going to just uh, the, the message we don't change much on the message at this point right it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music, right? That's the message that I want to give to, uh, to Jeff. So basically, it's, it's about like telling, okay? Telling a request, yes, that is not from you, it's from somebody else. Yeah, pretty much that's the main thing. And as you may know, when we are requesting something, we always try to be polite. So that's why we have could, sometimes we use can, right? And sometimes we use would. Yes, just to be polite with their request. Here we have the different examples, like we ha we can have statements, we can have imperatives, we can have yes, no questions, and also we can have double edged questions. And then we, we say like indirect requests, yes, and we change it a little bit. I mean, it's not a, a big deal, like, like that the, because the structure doesn't change at all. Uh, and at the end you need a question mark, yeah? 
that is that is basically uh, the big deal with this. Okay, let's let's take a take a look of some examples. Page twenty, exercise ten. Okay, here we have these examples. My right? indirect questions. I'm oh, sorry, indirect requests with negatives and infinitive not comes before, not between the infinitive. Can you tell me? Can you tell Ali not to be late? Okay. Let's take a look at these examples, right? Here we have the uh, request, yes? And we are going to change it using these modal verbs, yes? We are going to change it to like an indirect request, yeah? So let's take a look at number one. Yes. Let's take a look at number one. What is that one about? Are you busy this weekend? Oh, we're gonna, when we change it to an indirect request, we said, could you ask Susie if she's busy this weekend, right? We're working with Susie right now. So complete the indirect request, ask someone to deliver a message to whom? To whom? To Susie, yeah? So what is the number two? What is the statement that we have in number two? Uh-huh. What is the statement that we have in number two? Quick question. Regarding that, it's um all the questions that we're going to make, it will be with Susie, right? Exactly, exactly. All of that, I mean the messages are going to be delivered to Susie. Yeah. So um okay. perfect, perfect. So um and all of them like they have one characteristic which is which is pretty much very simple. Yeah. Um, like there is one verb that is always popping up here with this indirect request. Yes. If you see here, we have, uh, do you want to hang out with me? <laughs> That's good. Text me. Do you know my address? Uh, don't forget to write. What are you doing uh, Saturday? Oh, I love this one. What are you doing Saturday? They didn't use on Saturday. Look at this question. It's very good. Yeah. So they omit that thing. Do you have plans on Sunday? Look at this one, right? Here we have on, but in this one, we don't have it. I don't know why. Yeah. Why are you doing? What are you doing Saturday? Mm, that's very interesting, right? Actually, yeah. teacher, when we were making the, um, the homework, um, uh -huh. We find out something similar when we were doing one of the sentences about uh, to move on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. They so jump the, the preposition too. Exactly. Exactly. So that's uh, sometimes I'm wondering uh, why do they do? Is this is there a mistake with that? Or like, um, is that accurate to use that? Oh, yeah, we will find out, right? Thank you so much. So let's work with number two. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anybody? Can please? you ask? Yep. Can yes, you please. ask Susie if she wants to hang out with? Actually, that it will be with him, right? Yeah. Let me see, Susie. Okay, I'm sorry. If you ask Susie, if oh yeah, if you tell me, she wants. If she okay. wants mm -hmm, to hang out with him. Because this is not the second person. Yeah. Actually, that's the third one. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit confused because we wouldn't say it with me because um, she wants I'm making the request to hang out with no, him. I think, I think I think it goes the way it is here in the example. Hang. Oh my gosh. To hang out. Yeah, with me. Yeah, I think it goes like this one. Yeah, it comes the same. Why, teacher? Oh, because of the expression, can you ask mm -hmm. that one? Because of that one. Can you ask Susie if she wants to hang out with me? You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Yeah, that's why it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just to fit with the expression at the beginning. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Perfect. 
Okay, let's check you, Marlene. Number three, thank you. Um, can you tell or can you ask Susie? Susie, okay. Um, can you tell Susie? This one is easier than the other if one. If you want to text him, if mm -hmm. you want to text me. Okay, this is, this is, uh, what kind of, like, a statement is this one? This is a question. This is a normal statement, or this is an imperative. What is this thing? Can you tell yes. Susie? <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, sorry, but this topic is really difficult for me i don't understand very well don't, don't worry you just no, try i don't know i don't know you How just tell I me the that? expression tax me what is that it's an imperative it is a question or it's a normal statement with a subject and a verb and a complement tax me what is that tax me is i'm gonna give you three options and you pick one a question an imperative a normal sentence. Uh -huh. Marlene, pick one. I don't know, teacher. Sorry. Pick one. Don't worry. Pick one. Mm -hmm. Imperative. That is correct. It's an imperative. And remember. But the... why? I don't understand. Oh, the imperatives goes uh -huh. along. I mean, solitos, right? So mm -hmm. can you tell Susie to what is next? Text. Oh, very good. There you go. Text me, right? Yeah. Yes, because imperatives, they begin with a verb. Yes, unless that is something negative, like don't forget to write. That's something else, right? But this one, we have a verb, a positive. Because we have a positive verb, we just add just two. Text me. Yeah, very good. And don't forget, don't be afraid to make mistakes, right? Don't be afraid. That's good. Very good. Thank you. Let's begin with you, Selena. Thank you so much. Number four is for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell Susie? Can you tell Susie? Oh. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Do you know my address? Do you know my address? address? Mm, I think it's not tell. Ask. Oh, very good. Because it's a question. Yeah, because okay. it's a question, right? Okay. Very good. Can you ask? Can you ask Susie? Susie? Oh, yes. Very good. If she. Very good. If she. No. Okay. See, uh, okay. No she... or knows? Knows. Beautiful. Perfect. My address. My address, very good. Okay. Oh, yes, you got it. Thank you. Just let me check the spelling of address because sometimes I get confused. Uh, yes, it is correct. Sometimes tiny things like gets me like a lock, yeah, and it kills me. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. What about number five? That is going to be for Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Thank you. Number five. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. Let's carry on. Number five. Hello, Sarah. Are you Sarah? I think Sarah was here, but not anymore. Uh, okay, let's work with the gentleman whose name whose name is uh let me see. Lino. Thank you, Lino. Number five, please. First of all, identify. Identify this one. And look at the examples. Look at the examples so you can figure yes. it out. Mm -hmm. Could you? Okay, could you? Correct. Tell. Oh, very good. Perfect. Susie, right? Susie. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to write. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at here. 
on the here. If, here. <laughs> Look at here. Look at here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Not two. Oh, very good. Perfect. Not two. And then what is the verb? Forget. Oh, perfect. You got it. You you got it. That's the way. Okay. okay. And Thank what you. is it? What is the other one? Don't forget. To Don't forget to write. Yes, very good. Yes, you got it. Very good, Lino. That's wonderful. Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay, thank you so much. When we have this structure, we need to just delete that one so we can have it like this. Very good. And the question mark at the end. Very good. Thank you. That was very nice of you. Great job. And Roberto, number six is for you. Thank you. Um, let me see. What are you doing Saturday? Can you... Can you can you tell Susie? Okay. Can you you is correct, but I mean can you ask? Oh very good, you got it. It is a can question, you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Susie. Uh what very good, very good. What uh, what are you what is she doing? Oh, very good. Saturday. Oh perfect. Saturday. Okay, that's why they didn't change it, I guess. Right. Saturday. Very good. Yes. Yes. So uh now you notice the characteristic that we are having here. Yes, little by little. If you see, there is one characteristic that is popping out here with the sentences, right? We have two verbs, tell and ask in the sentences, right? In the uh indirect request. So you can figure it out. Oh, so when I have a question, I need to use tell or ask. Or when I have a sentence, what do I need? Tell or ask, right? Olga, Marleni, thank you. The next one is for you. Okay. you? Okay, you, thank you. Oh, give me a minute. So I need to, I need to check something here. Okay, yes, I have. Oh jeez. Okay, you you tell or ask? Ask. Why ask? Because it's a question. Oh perfect. Wonderful. Susie, right? Oh jeez. Susie. So oh, oh, come on. Susie? Can you ask Susie if she? Oh very good. Is she? A house. Oh, very good. Plains, plains on Sunday. On Sunday. You see, you nailed it. Very good. Sunday, like La Nevera. Yes, very good. Yes. So that is the characteristic, as, as I was talking about before, that you need to identify. Oh, look at this one. It's a question, right? Yes. So this is a question. Here, we're going to use ask. Could you ask? Yes, very good. Now, please do me a favor, uh, Jenny, please read this normal sentence question, okay, or imperatives, and then read, please, the indirect questions, requests. Jenny, please. Do you want to have, um, no, text me. Oh, no, I'm sorry, one. Are you busy this weekend? And then this one. And mm. then do you? And then the other one, please. Okay. Are you busy this weekend? Could you ask Susie if she busy this weekend? Do you want to hang, hang out with me? <clears throat> Pardon. Can you ask Susie if she wants to hang out with me? Text me. <clears throat> Can you tell Susie to text me? Do you know my address? Can you ask Susie if she knows my address? Uh, don't forget to write. 
Paul, you tell Susie now to forget to write. What are you doing Saturday? Can you ask Susie what she's doing Saturday? Uh, do you have plans on Sunday? Could you ask Susie if she has plans on Sunday? Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. So, and this is the way we make indirect requests in English. Just be careful with the second sentence because sometimes we start using the simple present like she has plans on on uh, on Sunday. Okay. Also here she knows my address. Here, as you know, we have a normal simple present uh, sentence question, but then when we have it after the if, we have a simple present sentence, right? Even though that is a question. Okay, people. I'm sorry it's raining, so you can enjoy your bedtime. See you tomorrow. Take care. Be nice and be kind. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for everything. See you tomorrow. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. My pleasure. Bye-bye.